a prefectorial post in his school because the headmaster had blocked him for running for an election it was disturbing <laughs> So, you guys, I promised you that I will keep you posted on whatever that is trending, especially right here in Uganda. And at the moment, I am back with, uh, you know, this news. I want to think that uh, this is something that you want to know about. But, of course, uh, before I get to let you know about it, kindly subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also make sure that you tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the latest story is about uh, the principal. Of course, when I talk about the principal, I guess we all know who I am talking about. I'm talking about, you know, the president of uh, NUP, that is a uh, horrible Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu. So, you guys, you remember at the beginning of last month, that is uh, February, uh, Bobby Wine's son, that is uh, Solomon Kampala, was suspended from uh, St. Mary's College, Subi. That is where he studies from. And uh, this was after the school administration, especially the headmaster, reported to the media that Solomon was caught with unwanted substances in his bag at the time of reporting in school. And actually, this entire time, Bobby Wine has been very quiet, by the way. He hasn't commented about this story that was making rounds. You remember the media was talking a lot. Everybody was talking about Bobby Wine's son, Solomon Kampala, caught with marijuana, caught with drugs, you know. So... It is very, very surprising to see that Bobby Wine had not yet commented about, you know, these reports. And also, Bobby, the mother, has also been quiet. Even these other brothers of Bobby Wine, they have been very quiet about this one. Yes, yeah, so uh, a section of uh, Ugandans have been thinking that maybe it is true that, uh, you know, uh, Solomon Kampala was caught with, uh, you know, these unwanted substances. But finally, I want to tell you that Bobby Wine has responded to the headmaster. And guess what? During a PTA meeting, uh, what is PTA? PTA is a... Uh, parents teachers association something like that so uh, during uh, the pta meeting bobby wine blasted the headmaster of smack and the headmaster was very very embarrassed in front of uh, you know other parents and everybody was in a shock because Bobby Wine was raising point after point, fact after fact. And actually, I have a video right here. I'm going to play it for you. But uh, before I get it to you, kindly subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And uh, tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you. And I believe to fellow parents, it was very disturbing. Um, I thought, much as I have access to the media, I thought the moral thing to do was to raise this issue on this platform because this is the ideal platform to raise it. I will mention that for all the years my child has been a student here, I have never attended or even addressed the AGM because I was always politely requested not to attend in order not to cause what they call unnecessary attention. I saw it important because like every other parent, I have my child and I want to protect my child, even protecting from himself. <laughs> Mr. Headmaster and our fellow parents, to take us a little back, allow me to lay these facts bare. That young man had been reporting to me a pattern of segregation and targeting on him. As we all parents know, sometimes children lie. So, I did not give the young man attention. We raised our children to be leaders. And so, my young man always hoped to stand for an elective position in his school. But this one day when he came back home crying for the holiday and told me that he could not run for an elective prefectorial post in his school because the headmaster had blocked him for running for an election, it was disturbing. Now, when all this issue came up, I had spoken to my son somehow and informed me that as the pattern has been going on, this time he had been set up and drugs had been put in his unlocked suitcase and under his bed. I did not believe it at first. Not that I believe it now, but because I want answers and I believe all other parents I want answers. So I was summoned for a meeting with the headmaster and the team from the school. We sat. I took this opportunity 
to raise all these matters to you, Mr. Headmaster. Of course, I would request it that this between you remains uh, in the headmaster's office. I'm only raising this because it was apparently brought to the media by the headmaster. I brought the matter of my son being blocked against running. And these are the reasons I was given and I want to quote you, Mr. Headmaster. The first reason, Mr. Headmaster, he told me that for a child to be a leader in this school, a child must be an A student, not an average student like my son. That was you, Mr. Headmaster. The second reason I was given for my son not running for leadership in this school is that students that are overly popular are not allowed to run for office in this school.